James Dorsey is a senior fellow at the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. Singapore. He joins us now live. Thank you for joining us here on the program. Does Trump's phone call with Haftar indicate his support for the general? It basically, uh, it, I think, it amounts to a game changer on two levels. First of all, it makes a mockery of uh, diplomatic norms of international recognition. And the question is, how do you scare, square justification of the intervention, the Saudi UAE intervention in Yemen, as being on behalf of an internationally recognized government, whereas in Libya, you're opting for a, uh, against a government that is recognized by the United Nations? The second thing it does, I believe, is not so much indicate that the United States may be getting involved militarily, but it legitimizes the intervention by countries such as Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Egypt, and encourages them to step up their aid to General Haftar's forces. Mm -hmm. Both the U.S. and Russia did not support a U.N. Security Council resolution calling for a ceasefire in Libya. And France and Italy say they want to forge their own common strategy. What do you make of this international response to the situation in Libya? Well, I think one is it's part of a larger picture that we're seeing in which you're seeing uh, illiberal Democrats uh, authoritarians and autocratic leaders basically agree on the norms or the values of what will be a new world order. And that is one that uh, poses a, a serious threat to liberal values. Mm. Uh, in the case of France and Italy, we're really talking about a, a power play, both countries wanting to have access to Libya's uh, oil, oil resources, rather than that this is truly a geopolitical play. Mm -hmm. So where does this leave Libya? Do you think civil war is imminent? We already have civil war. Mm -hmm. What I do think is it's unlikely that you're going to see anytime soon uh, Field Marshal Haftar's forces capable of a swift and decisive victory. So with other words, I think we're going to see more chaos and more bloodshed. And that's been borne out by what has been happening in the last 10 or 14 days. Mm -hmm. All right, James Dorsey joining us from Singapore. Thank you.